A Minecraft portfolio is a collection of screenshots of builds that you've created. You'll typically use a portfolio when you apply for a builder rank on a creative server. In this video, I'll walk you through what makes a good portfolio and how you can actually put it together. If you'd like to see me build in first person, check out my Patreon in the description. Taking good screenshots is the most important part of a portfolio. Your field of view is the easiest thing to control. Of course, it depends on the situation, but I highly recommend keeping it below 45 for outdoor shots and 60 for indoor. Outdoor screenshots should have a focal point of what you're trying to emphasize. If you're showing off a build, have the build in the center. If you're showing a streetscape, make sure that the viewer knows to look at the street first and then let their eyes wander. For an interior shot, pick a large piece of furniture or a cluster of small items to focus the photo on. If you want to showcase an interior architectural design, show that instead. A good portfolio doesn't require shaders. Shaders should be used as a tool in one of two ways. First, as a wide shot to make it feel realistic. Second, they should be used to show the viewer how you used shadows in your design. If you have the ability to, change the time of day and the solar angle to move the rays of sun where you want them. Also, if you're on Java, make sure to go into F1 mode to hide your hotbar. The next question is to ask, what type of screenshot should you have? I'm a staff member on Cube Community, a creative server that typically focuses on cities, infrastructure, and buildings. We have plenty of other styles of builds, but that tends to be the main category. So, if you were to apply for Builder on Cubed, you'd likely have builds that are similar in style. If you typically create buildings, you want to show that you know how to create the exterior architecture, interior floor plans, interior furnishings, and outdoor decorations. For each of these categories, you should have at least two screenshots showcasing your best work for a total of eight. The goal is not to show the entire build, so don't overdo it with the number of screenshots. For the exterior, use either an elevation or a perspective shot. For the floor plans, we want to see how your walls connect to each other, if your rooms are properly sized, and if your floor, ceiling, and wall materials and colors work well with each other. We also look at the scale of your doors and windows. Your doors are typically two-thirds of the height of your interior wall. I build it roughly a 1.5 to 1 scale, which means everything is about 50% larger. My recommendation is to use four high ceilings with three high doorways. I would also highly recommend not actually using in-game doors. The doors should either be open or closed. This, of course, is only applicable for creative builds. Interior furnishings can be quite tricky to get right, which is why on Cubed we tend to be more lenient in the application process. We look for color coordination with other furniture and the surrounding interior and try and dissect the feeling that it gives off. An example of this is that browns, oranges, and greens give off a cozy, earthy feel. So if you had this type of furniture but then you paired it with a bright pink wall, it's going to feel very disconnected. If instead you used a light grey, it's going to feel light and airy. If you used just a black wall, it's going to feel dark and moody. Outdoor decorations come in different scales and are intended to create the atmosphere as you walk up or past your build. The key word here is walk up to your build. There should be a blend of small, medium, and large decorations or greenery. If you have an emphasis on the smaller sides of decorations, it's going to feel more cozy as you walk past. If you're going for more of a grand feel, you may try and go towards something a little bit larger. When taking your screenshots, be sure to show all three of these scales in the same photo from a walking perspective. Creating an entire building with interior can be quite time consuming. So if you're starting from scratch, two builds should be fine for an application. If you already have multiple builds, depending on the skill required for the rank you're applying for, I'd say don't include more than six builds with eight screenshots per build. To actually host these images and share it with other people, you can use a free hosting site. If you decide to use a public account where you decide to post all of your builds, just be careful because whoever is reviewing your application can see all of them and you will be judged on them. This is why I recommend having a separate account for your portfolio and just for ones that you want to share. If you'd like to chat with other builders to see what their portfolios look like, join the Cube Community Discord using the link in the description. So these have been some tips to help you with your portfolio along with the guidelines for what staff on Cube are looking for. If you found this video useful, please click like to boost this video in the algorithm so I can help others and also pay my rent. Don't forget to check out my Patreon using the link below if you're interested in seeing me stress out over a quick 20 minute builds in Andea. So far there's only two videos, but I plan on making quite a bit more as time goes on. 